Teddy two gloves like Teddy Bridgewater in the ring. And he'll go to the air on first down with pressure coming. Lobs it for more. The pass incomplete. He had Zadarius Smith in his lap providing the heat. Uh, and then there goes Mooney on the inside slot fade on. First and ten. Fields to the sideline. Tipped and then DJ Moore able to hang on and toe tap to get a good game. De'Anthony Bell got a fingertip on that one. And Moore able to catch it. And he picks up seven. Well, watch Bell. I mean, any closer and this thing's going the other way. We were just talking about Justin Fields. Making good decisions with the football. He felt the space outside in that. That's a huge play. Missed opportunity. Now third and three. Fields down the sideline to DJ Moore, who makes the adjustment and he makes the catch in Cleveland territory at the 46. A first down and a 27 yard gain. Well, a couple of trick shots from Justin Fields, but he was on fire. That was three plays in a row. And here they are going tempo. They're trying to beat the Browns personnel changes or a challenge and the challenge flag comes out not easy to do dj moore is it a catch is it not rule the catch on the field will step aside oh, on the field is confirmed it is a catch browns lose a timeout and a challenge we'll watch him turn and stop and he's working against number 23 newsom Excuse me, Emerson Jr. Emerson Jr. had two interceptions last week. So he's trying one of their better corners. And him and DJ Moore look sharp in the rain. Wet conditions with two gloves. It's obviously not bothering Justin Fields. What's bothering this offense, though, is trying to block these guys. Routes chasing it from right to left. He's going to read this like a sprinkler across the lawn. Right to left. And he's up front. Fields to throw, floats it for Moore, and it's incomplete. There's a flag. Emerson in coverage against D.J. Moore, and it'll be a penalty against the Cleveland Corps. Pass interference, defense number 23. Foul in the end zone by rule. The ball is placed on the one-yard line. Automatic. matchup. First just down. these two. Just a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I mean, a little hand-fighting both ways, but... I don't know if I like that. That usually usually you just let him play right there. For help. Second and eleven. Browns rush four. Fields over the middle. There's DJ Moore with the catch. Burn one. First down. Burn one. Twenty-six. And there's the timeout. Picks up twenty on the dart across the middle. And now you're starting to knock on the door of Cairo Santos' field goal range. We were watching him warm up today and was hitting regularly from 55. Well, that was just your deep indigo or 94 combination. Some teams called it dagger. I've been in a few systems, Kevin, but basically it's an 18 <laughs> to 20 yard in route coming, ripping across by DJ Moore. And that's all timing. You want to complete that in between the numbers and the hash right there. Perfect, but then DJ Moore out of the game. That I don't understand as much. Well, you know, he hurt his ankle last week, and there was yeah. some question about DJ Moore today. Would he be full go? We've seen him out there, yep. but right now grimacing a little bit as he's on the sideline. Fields looking for Moore, well covered. Denzel Ward running stride for stride with DJ Moore. No chance to get him the football, and on comes the field goal team. Well, it's best cornerback versus best receiver. 21, Denzel Ward versus number two, DJ Moore. Good on good. He loved it. He tried to take the shot, but the ball not quite close enough. And Fields on the keep, and he goes down. He looked up, and Greg Newsom was right there. What oh. a terrific defensive play. And Speaking of choreographed wow. dances, that was like a backup dancer from In Living Color, man. That was a whole routine. Watch this. Newsom's all over it from the jump. That's Johnson's guy all the way. Here you go. Let's go. All right. Everybody to the left. We got the hips going. Clapping. When you play in the Bam. home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, there's a certain there expectation. You go. Yeah. He's waiting for people to join in. Yeah, nobody did. Yeah. Third and 16. Deflected. Caught by DJ Moore, but nowhere to go. Look at all those brown jerseys out in front of him. And discretion being the better part of Valor. Down he goes off the tip of Miles Garrett. The catch and a loss of three. And the punt team coming on. 
Well, he's trying to throw this thing over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Look at this guy <laughs> off the edge. Watch. Nope. <laughs> he tried to throw it around him. The guy gets up to like nine guys. Let's see what he can do to lead his Bears to a win as he goes to the sideline of DJ Moore, Dangerous. covered by Greg Newsom. Newsom all over it, and on cue, he's got his dance moves out again. <laughs> Look at that. He never really got him out on the run. What do we got? Let's see. Yeah, he might. That's like. It's, I think. Seventh most all time in the play by play chair. Justin Fields. Hit as he throws, and the wobbler incomplete. That pressure. Uh oh. I'm just shocked they weren't running the ball. Trying to run out this clock. They've had some. Fields. Chased by Garrett. Flushed. Looking, sets up, throwing deep. Hail Mary, end zone, deflected, oh. tipped, and intercepted. Almost caught, and then a deflection.